Hello everybody, I hope you are okay. So in iOS 26 beta 4, where we're on now, they announced that they are going to be doing cool screening. And well, I've got it here on my phone and I want to show you all about it because I've not really tried it. And they've made some changes in how they've laid it out and how they're communicating it to you. I also want to compare it against what is visual voicemail. This is a feature where if somebody phones, you see the voicemail live on the transcript of the phone and not just the phone call incoming and when it goes to voicemail, it does that in the background. And you can always answer it from visual voicemail. So this is what you see in iOS. So if you come into the phone section, you can see that you can enable call screening for unknown callers. So you've got never, ask reason for calling or silence. I think that they should have an answer there for all users. Always ask reason for calling. I think Though not everybody will use it, these days, Gen Z, me personally, I don't have to answer the phone. I definitely aren't answering it if it's an unknown caller. So this is a very good added feature. And you can see here that it says calls from unsaved numbers will be asked for more information about the ring. Caller data rates may apply. That is, of course, in the US where you pay where caller receives. In the UK, it's sender receives. So no, sender pays. Whoever is calling pays for the outbound call because you can tell whether it's going to an iPhone. Of course, you have got up here um, live voicemail. So live voicemail is a different feature, though it basically works very similar. And I'll show you that in the video. And we also then have the option to go down to silent. So silent allows you to just get it to go directly into the background and it not ring. And I think all three of these do play quite a good part because some people aren't going to want this feature. Some people are and some people don't care. They just want the photo call to go to silent. I don't know who you are. You shouldn't be finding me. But let's jump into how it works and I'll give you a demo. OK, so I've got the two phones. I'm going to put this on the home screen as this is a better option to see this. So if I phone myself, you'll see here, put it on speaker. You'll see on Hi, this phone you your name and that you see that there see is a screen is calling and it says the number. I'm not going to say it. And you see that it's asking to screen the call. It's going to have picked up my voice. So hello, how are you? or whatever I'm saying, whatever you're saying to this phone will then appear on this phone when it starts to ring. So if we gave it a moment. Thanks. Please stay on the line. It shows the message that I got sent, the message I said, which was just me talking, and then it said, please stay on the line. I could type to reply. Hello, hold on. They said, hello, hold on. You can leave a message after the tone. Okay, perfect, I'll wait. And you could continue to have this sort of two-way back and forth conversation, as you could see. And then on this phone, you could decide, actually, I'm just gonna pick it up, or I'm gonna end it. Once the call has happened and you haven't answered, in your phone application, you will see the live transcript of the conversation and all that was said, both by the AI, not AI, but the assistant, and the user calling and of course you can call them back quite simply but let's show how this is different to visual voicemail i'm now back on the lock screen on this device and i've got the phone here i'm going to phone myself again but i've saved the number this time so it should go straight to ringing so it knows who it is and i can go more and click voicemail your call has been forwarded to voicemail the person you're trying to reach is not available at the tone Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Now, everything that I say appears on this device on the screen, as you can see here. This is a neater way to answer a call from somebody who you know is coming. It's very much a similar feature. And I think that they should add the ability for me to text back that we have in call screening as actually maybe I want to reply to this person and say, I'm just going to be 30 seconds, just wait 30 seconds on the line. Or, but then I could still answer the phone, of course, I can end it and it will just disappear. But they are still leaving the voicemail and I can always pick it back up by unlocking my phone and viewing the voicemail. There you go. Okay, well, you've just seen the demo, so... It is quite a clever feature. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably some ML. I was about to say AI, but it's not that advanced. It seems to be only able to say a handful of selected phrases. I do like how in screen calling, you have the ability to send a message back to the person waiting. It might be whether you're saying that they need to wait for five minutes longer 
or something like that. Or you have a follow-up question based on what information they have provided before you answer. I do feel like they should add that to live voicemail. When you're waiting on that live voicemail and you're reading the transcript, it would be good if you could maybe also communicate back to the person in a situation maybe where that person's preferred method of communication is mobile phone, but you're in a meeting, but maybe can send them a text. So you can just continue it over the phone call as if it's a text conversation. I think that's quite a clever thing. It's sort of bridging that gap between somebody phoning and somebody texting, which I think is a very good feature. I do like how they've kept them visually distinct. They are their own unique thing, and I think it will probably stay that way, though there is quite a lot of overlap in the actual feature capacity. But anyway, this was a quick video showing you those two features. That was pretty fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.